screw on this side, no screw on this side, massive gap, very close, drawer, doesn't open very easily, look, it's just completely, look, This side panel, it starts off quite close to the top, but towards the bottom, it's quite a big gap, and you can see it's just misaligned at the bottom. This here is, I think, probably the biggest joke. That should be flush with the bottom of the cupboard, like this one. But as you can see, it's got a massive gap because they've cut the side panel short. Or to make it worse, they've then tried to fill it with mastic and obviously not really done that, that good a job, to be quite frank. That's how it should look. Yeah. Then down here, they've cut the plinth in, in a section. I asked about that, why that was cut in a section like that. It said because it wasn't long enough. This is the plinth that's turned up today. As you can see, there's plenty for one cupboard and the other three cupboards without having a join. So I'm quite amazed that that was done in the first place. Um, This was the wrong size for the drawer, but that's a very minor thing. Something that's uh, very impressive is the finish inside this cupboard. I don't know why it's perforated like this. It's just very cheaply made. Then on top of here, they've cut a section out of the cupboard, at the top of the cupboard. On this side, they've equally cut a section out of the cupboard. It's just not even serving a purpose. It's not glued, it's not anything. All the pipes come through here. Why they've decided to cut this, I um, have no idea. Um, and then, what else was there? I think that's it. Apart from this beautiful hob, there was no gas when it was originally fitted and the way the engineer tested it or the installer tested it was by turning on the gas. It's got a bore, it's got a connection underneath which was not tested to see if there's any gas leaks which I actually think is also illegal.